guys? Ranch Boss here. I just got back from the ranch. I was out there for 10 days. We had a lot of good hunts and I'm back in the office for a few days just to get caught up on things that I don't tend to when I'm out chasing the hogs. So I just got back late last night. It was about 12 30, 1 o'clock when we rolled back up uh, into the city and uh, check my emails before I went to bed. Sometimes that's not a good thing to do when you're exhausted and trying to go to bed, but I got a particular email from a guy that was out this last weekend and uh, it encouraged me to make this video and I want to comment on that. His comment to us was that the, their, their group of seven came out, they had a good time, everything was great, they went home with more meat than they could actually carry, left a lot of their hog meat here, which, which, which was okay, but his concern was because he was 20 minutes late for breakfast one day, that the only thing left for him to eat was a biscuit. Now, in orientation, which I gave, I am very specific about being on time for all of the events, including breakfast, being a very important one to be on time. We have a lot of people on the ranch and different people doing different things, and there's times that the ranch will be unoccupied or should be unoccupied that we actually have a maintenance group that'll go out and fix the fence when there's nobody out there shooting or whatever. So we have to maintain a very strict schedule. We want everybody on time for the meals. This is a recap of the orientation that you're going to hear when you come to the ranch. Two reasons. Number one is when we can get an accounting of everybody that's been spread out all over the ranch and it's at mealtime that we all come together and I can check and be sure Bob is here and David is here and okay, nobody's lost, nobody's had a heart attack out in the field. We have to know those things. And I also encourage the groups, if you're a big group, also you check to help us check to be sure that everybody's here. Mealtime is when we do this. Reason number one to be on time for mealtimes is we're checking the head count. And number two, you get to eat. The cook makes a lot of food but she puts it out on a big buffet style table and the guys that come through that line first, by the time the end of that line comes around, those same guys are circling like vultures to come back to that line and we don't care. But if you come dragging in late and you didn't listen to orientation and all you get is a biscuit, if you're lucky, don't make me the bad guy. And that's what this customer was doing. He was making me the bad guy that he felt that it was important for him to let me know personally that our kitchen staff isn't doing what they're supposed to do because when he came in 20 minutes late, he all only had the opportunity for one biscuit. And actually, he's lucky he got a biscuit. So I am putting a video out there for everybody, hopefully before they come to the ranch, to see this video. And there's some other things that I'm going to cover that haven't been put in the video that I put in orientation. And here's the challenge, and I understand. So a lot of these guys have traveled from across the country. There's a lot in their mind. They come into our lodge and they're looking at all the neat animals on the wall, and they're just and it's hard for them to focus and hear the material for the first time. So I'm gonna put it on a video and encourage everybody to look at this video before they come out to the ranch. So all the different events that we have during your three-day hunt, it's really important that you pay attention. Be on time whether it's meal time, whether it's the time you go out to do your hunt, whether it's the time you come back, all these are, it, it boils down to a safety issue, guys. You can't just be wandering around, doing what you want, when you want. Very dangerous. All right, I've harped on that enough. Now, another area that some of my customers feel the need to make me the bad guy because of their deficiency in an area is they'll get all the way back home they didn't check all their gear before they left, and then they're going to call me. Uh, ranch boss, I left my charger. Would you mind packing it up for me and mailing it to me? I'm really sorry you left your charger, all right? And it's posted all over the ranch. Pack all your stuff out as we can't ship. It's a problem. We had a guy, and there's a few exceptions that I'll make, guys. Last year, we had a guy leave $1,500 cash money on the top bunk, all right? I'm not gonna keep somebody's money. We called him right away. He didn't even know he'd left it at this point. He'd barely made it to the airport. But we went ahead and we overnighted his money to him and he was very grateful. I've had guys call me, hey, I left my favorite shower shoes. 
would you ship them to me, ranch boss? <laughs> it's your responsibility, guys, to be sure that you pack up all your stuff and you take it back on the plane with you and you'll just don't make me the bad guy when I, I can't accommodate your request when it's clearly posted these are the things that we can do and these are the things that we can't do all right another area that some customers like to make me the bad guy is that at the end of the hunt they're over there loading their meat and the staff is loading their meat and they're asking them for their last four digits of their cell number and the way the guys on the rack will ask what's your last four digits and this has already been explained we already have the last four digits of their cell number and they give us their social security number all right and it creates havoc so again not paying attention it's registered under the last four digits of your cell phone number so when you call back to base camp and you've got a hog down and somebody comes out there to pick it up they're going to ask you what's your number you know what we're looking for so just remember these little simple things guys or they'll give us different numbers and they can't remember and it creates a disaster when we're trying to load meat all right or some guys aren't paying attention to what we're loading and maybe there's a, a ham that didn't get loaded or half a hog sometimes a whole hog if they shot 15 20 hogs in a group which happens all the time and then they get back to washington state or new york state and then they're going to call a ranch boss and say ranch boss i think those guys that were cleaning the pigs, I, th I think they stole some of my meat. And they're probably going to take it home and feed it to their family. <laughs> I've heard these things. Not the case, guys. It's your responsibility to be sure that you have all your meat before you leave that gate. Otherwise, it's gone. All right? We can't save it. We're absolutely not going to ship it. Can you imagine ship shipping 50 pounds overnight across the country? It'll cost you more than the airfare did to get here if you flew. So we can't do that, guys. I want everybody, when they come out here, we do everything we can in the area of safety. Staff, we want to show you guys a good time, but you have to join in with us, guys, and pay attention. Otherwise, it just creates problems, and so many people want to make me the bad guy when they fell short, all right? Please help us out, and we can all have a good time. Now, there are some things that you can do prior to coming to the hunt to assure that you're going to have a better hunt than otherwise. Number one, guys, we have a website with a lot of information on it, and we didn't do that just for our health. We did it to inform you, but you're not going to be informed if you don't read it. So please, everybody in your group, read the website. And an area that I've seen where customers are falling short is, let's say, Bob buys a hunt for five or ten people and says we're going hunting to Texas and he doesn't give them any information he doesn't tell them the website and when they get here they look like a deer in the headlights they're like well I didn't know this I didn't know that and this first I heard of this that's right if you don't read it will be the first time that you hear it so look at the website and so critical to having a good hunt is carefully reviewing the frequently asked questions page that's where the heart of the information is that you need to know before you show up so anyway guys this video hopefully will be helpful to you guys it'll be coming out soon if you'll just take care of these things I won't have to be the bad guy when I say no I can't ship your flip-flops to you or no I'm sorry your car chargers I'm not gonna ship it to you and let's just have a good time <clears throat> let's everybody <clears throat> see, I talk too long and my voice is saying shut up. That's enough. All right, guys. We'll see you soon out here at the ranch. Take care.